Can you uh, stop playing the game? You set one up, I'm still loading. Oh, I'm just about to start a heist. Start a heist now. Well, this is exactly the sort of thing I was talking about. I hate always being portrayed as the bad guy in all this, you know that. You just float along and I'm the one who has to worry about everything, bills, life, our future, just so you can lay about and do nothing. Haha, <laughs> right. Loaded in. You playing online with your new friends? Sad fuck. I'm hunting you down, I can see you. It's not that, I just hate when you could get your own fears onto mine, everything's good. We're still good, relax, take a weight off. Yeah, go up a run. Well, it's very easy for you to say that when you don't actually do anything all day. Relax, he says. I'm the one organising all the missions. What mate. are you talking about? I single-handedly invaded the army base, stole the helicopters, evaded my chasers, landed the thing, took out all the guards, and then silently called for a rescue signal for immediate what? evac. That's right. Should have been there. Should have been there. Blow job Shit. city. Shit. You're an emotional cripple, you know that. Incapable of talking seriously about anything. Human tumbleweed. Shit. Need your help here. Getting shot at. Bastard. Fucking what? yanks. I can hear him giving me shit as well. Ah, uh, well, you're way off. You're distant. Always too distant. Ah. I can't see you. <laughs> Emotionally distant? Can I just remind you who approached who just now? I am in no way distant. It's such a lie. I'm always listening to your early 30s anxieties about you fearing you're not going anywhere, you getting sick of all your high school mates having better jobs and a new baby on the way. You just can't accept pe other people being happy. Oh, dead, dead. Don't worry about it. Too late. Should have heard him giving me shit as well. Sounded about 50. The type of guy who goes to the gym after work every day, you know, to avoid his family and he probably cries hitting the heavy back. You know, I just wish one of them would get T-boned at a busy city crossroad, you know. Massive impact, instant neck break, kids in the back seat crying, screaming. He's looking at his kid, but only because his head snapped the wrong way and his body's contorted at a hideous angle. You think about that happening to your close friends. I think you need to see someone. <laughs> it has to be some of the, like a, a violent social humiliation, I find. <laughs> yeah, or they get ploughed into by a tram, the car <laughs> dragged for ages, sparks flying everywhere. Everyone's watching. <laughs> yeah, I can't think of a better way just now. I, d I don't know what to say. Yeah, well, that's because you've got absolutely no banter. My banter is you carved never into stone, pal. You're a miserable tableau of limp cock magic. You know, you can be really horrible when you're down and unemployed. You turn into a really abusive person. That's horrible. Uh, but I wouldn't expect any less than a troll like you. Smell your breath from here. You've been so you sad, sad, pathetic man. I took pity on you. Now I'm just watching a husk of a man. Broken. Can't believe I ever loved you. I was down on the underpass, but I was filming your dad sucking off tramps for a documentary about the dangers of growing up in Macclesfield. If you don't shut your goddamn mouth, I'll knock your dick in your watch pocket, okay? You don't ever threaten me, you hear? That is it. We're done. I'm going to stay at my sister's. You can wallow here like the pig you are. Don't ever fucking say another word to me, okay? You will never be at peace. You will never find happiness unless you change. I feel so sorry for you. Enjoy your lonely life and your early grave, you fucking arsehole. Put you like a Canadian pig farmer. I'll cave your skull in and you'll have whitish matter spilling out as you squeal. <laughs> Eyes getting eased from the sockets as you... Hang on, hang on, I think I just heard the door, I think she's back, one sec, babe, 